Welcome to the short tutorial on the Ingenious 3 Gel Imaging Analysis System. The economical Ingenious 3 is suitable for standard fluorescence applications. The Ingenious 3 offers a 3 million pixel camera and can produce images with a 16 bit image depth. A manual zoom lens and a manual filter drawer, um, which includes a UV filter, completes the package. The system is controlled by Genesis Application Driven Image Capture Software. Genesis Software selects the right lighting and filters for you, making it easy to image fluorescent ethidium bromide or cyber safe DNA gels and protein gels stained with Kamasi Blue or Silver Stain. For the next part of this tutorial, I will show you how to use the manual zoom lens. So to open the aperture, so that's your iris, to let more light in or to reduce the amount of light, use this ring here. To adjust the zoom, to zoom in or zoom out in your image, just adjust this ring here. To adjust the focus of your image, so you're looking for nice sharp crisp bands, adjust this ring here. In this tutorial we will be looking at DNA auto capture. In Genesis you have two imaging choices, manually or automatically. For this tutorial we will do automatic capture. Select gels, then DNA agarose gel. The next step is dye selection. This will bring up the recently selected dyes. Well, you can select to show the whole library that currently contains over 300 commercially available dyes. Once all the parameters have been set, make sure the UV light is switched on. And that the gel has been positioned correctly with a sample positioning page. As the Ingenious 3 system has a manual zoom lens, use the controls on the camera to adjust the iris, focus and the zoom. Genesis will then calculate the exposure time needed and capture an image of the gel, making sure to never saturate the image. This is important for quantification purposes. Make sure you turn off the UV light after capture. You can save this capture as a protocol, which will appear on the home page and will save you time as this takes you directly to the sample positioning page. The histogram shows you the number of grayscales captured by the camera. Adjust the histogram to alter the brightness and contrast of the image. Captured images can also be saved as a SGD, a TIFF or a BMP file. Captured images can be edited and annotated using the edit screen. You can also export your images to QuickQuant and to Gene Tools for analysis. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at visible protein gel capture. In Genesis, you have two imaging choices, manually or automatically. For this tutorial, we will do automatic capture. Select gels and visible protein gel. The next step is dye selection. This will bring up recently selected dyes, or you can select to show the whole library that currently contains over 300 commercially available dyes. When imaging any visible light application, you need to use the visible light converter screen. This is a white screen that is placed directly on top of your transluminator. Once all the parameters have been defined, make sure that you turn the UV light on and that the gel has been positioned correctly with a sample positioning page. Use dynamic fielding to get a nice even background. As the Ingenious 3 system has a manual zoom lens, use the controls on the camera to adjust the iris, focus and the zoom. Genesis will then calculate the exposure time needed and capture an image of the gel, making sure to never saturate the image. This is important for quantification purposes. Make sure you turn off the UV light after capture. You can save this capture as a protocol, which will appear on the home page and will save you time as this takes you directly to sample positioning page. 
The histogram shows you the number of grayscales captured by the camera. Adjust the histogram to alter the brightness and the contrast of the image. Captured images can be edited and annotated using the edit screen. You can export your images to QuickQuant or to Gene Tools for analysis. I hope you enjoyed this short video. For further information, please visit our website www.singene.com or follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn.